75 years after D-Day, a former German soldier is worried for Europe. 75 years after D-Day, the world is once again a troubling place to a former German soldier who was on the losing side of the cataclysmic clash that hastened the end of World War II. Paul Goles, 95, has a clear memory of being on guard duty in the early morning hours of June 6, 1944 U and realizing the invasion was underway when the skies over the Normandy coast were illuminated by flares, known as Christmas. It. Goals was at the time a drafted member of the German army, then under control of the Nazis, and he has recounted that day several times before to historians, to curious reporters, and to several generations of school children. But as the leaders of the free world prepare to mark the 75th anniversary of D-Day, Goals said he fears a fraying of the alliances that were created in the wake of the war, alliances that brought peace and stability to Europe. And he has deep misc with. It's not just Trump. Britain's decision to take. Like many Germans, Goals also takes a dim view of the thousands of Syrian refugees who have recently found shelter in his country. Nobody. Never mind that Goals himself became a refugee after the war when Pomerania, a region on the southern Baltic coast where his family ran a farm, was returned to Poland and the Germans were expelled. What remains undimmed by the passage of time, however, is Goals' belief that the invasion that spelled the end of the Third Reich saved Europe and his life. It. Were it not for a case of diphtheria, Goals might have wound up on the Russian front. He came down with the approximately. Once he was better, Goals was assigned to 91st Air Infantry Division and dispatched to Normandy where the troops were literally dug in near the Cherbourg Heights. We. Oui. And all around them was a forest of Rommels. On the day of invasion, Goals said he was more concerned about being hungry than the invading allies. He said at that point, Goals said he returned to his unit, which had been ordered to march toward the town of St. Riclis some three hours away. But en route, go I. Starved and thirsty, Goals said at one point he wandered off into a field in search of sustenance when he saw something moving. I. It was a downed parachutist. His face was cut. I. Goals said the soldier was trembling. He said he spoke, he. Goals said he insisted the soldier take a sip before he too drank from the bottle. Then he took the Amer- The next day, Goals said he saw his first dead American. He said the Germans- End. It. By June 10th of that year, the war was over for Goals. He said after sp- Come. Goals said they had no choice but to surrender. He said they were for- They. From there, the POWs were marched to Utah Beach and loaded on a British ship. To this day, he re- Sausages. They were taken first to a prisoner of war camp in Scotland. Then, after it- On. Just how well they were being treated sank in for goals when they were made to watch news footage from the newly liberated Nazi concentration camps. It. Goals said that, when he was asked at age 16 which branch of the service he should sign up for, his older brother, who had already fought in Ukraine, had advised him not to join the Gestapo. They. But Goals said he was not aware of what his fellow Germans had done to the Jews and Poles and countless others until he saw the footage. He said his cap, I. Goals said he was released in 1946 and when he returned to what was left of Germany he began to realize how lucky he was to have been captured by the Americans. In addition to losing faith. In the years that followed, Goals said he became a student of the war he had taken part in. He began return faith. 
Gold said he was also asked several times to speak to French school children about the war and his small part in it. He showed a report piece. In the twilight of his life, Gold said he is aware that he is part of a dwindling fraternity and that time has done what the bullets didn't do in 1944, namely cull the numbers of men he could call comrades in arms. These days, when he can, Gold said he tends to his little garden and the old apple tree that still. I. Eckhart reported from Koenigswinter, Germany, and Seamasco from New York City.